What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is WAC4863, but you can call me WAC. In today's video, we're going to look at the server transfer system that was recently released for Conan Exiles. And I'm going to go through the general information that Funcom has posted on their website and let you know how server transfers are supposed to work. I will also link that in the description of this video should you want to get over and read that yourself. I am, however, going to give you some tips for server transfers a little bit later on in the video, so I suggest you stick around and check those out. Getting right into it, you cannot transfer a character to a server that you already have a character on. So if you want to transfer a different character to that server, go in and click the recreate character button on that server, and then you should be able to transfer a character in there. You can only transfer one character at a time. If you already have a character exported, you will need to import them to a server before you can export another character. After you successfully import a character, there's a cooldown period for PvP and PvE. Now for PvE, it is a 24 hour cooldown period and for PvP, it is a seven day cooldown period. You cannot transfer a character if you're over encumbered or if you are the clan leader. Now let's stop and talk about this real quick. So what you should be doing for this is give yourself as many points as encumbrance as you can. I would say go ahead and go all the way to the point where you can run while over encumbered. You still can't go over 100%, but you want your carry weight as big as possible so that you can export as much stuff as possible. And then if you're in a clan and you're the clan leader, promote someone else to a clan leader or just leave the clan. If you're in a solo clan all by yourself, just leave your clan. What's gonna end up happening is if you promote someone, they can actually hold on to all the possessions that are on that server. If you don't have anyone to promote, all that stuff's gonna go away. So when you transfer your character, if someone else isn't holding all those things for you, the thralls, the pets, the buildings, all that stuff is going to go into a decay state when you decide to transfer. And I know plenty of you are super smart and have already figured out a way to hold on to all your stuff on one server and transfer to another server. There's plenty of ways to do that between family share or having an alternate account or just having other clan members to hold on to that base. You can transfer servers within the Exiled Lands, so you can go from Exiled Lands server to Exiled Lands, or you can go Exiled Lands to Sipta. Obviously, you have to own the Sipta DLC in order to transfer onto a Sipta server. You can transfer between official servers to official servers, so official to official. You can also transfer from official servers to unofficial servers, but you cannot transfer from unofficial servers to official servers. When transferring from official servers to another official server, the rules are as follows. You can go from PVP to PVP, or you can transfer from PVP to PVEC or PVE. From a PVEC server, you can transfer to another PVEC server, or you can transfer to PVE. From a PVE server, you are only able to transfer to another PVE server. So if you were originally on PVP and you decided to transfer that character to PVE, you will only be able to transfer to other PVE servers with that character. You cannot transfer a PVE character to a PVEC server or a PVP server. Now, now, unofficial or private servers, the owner of that server has the ability to block the transfer system. So you will need to check with the server that you're planning to transfer to, check with that server owner to see if they have the transfer enabled on their server. And actually, in the patch notes for update 2.5, it said that that was going to be turned off by default, that you would not be able to transfer into unofficial servers unless the server owner had enabled it. However, they made a mistake and they made that setting wrong. So if you have a private server and you haven't checked this setting currently, it's set to allow players to transfer in to your server. If you want it that way, great, go ahead and leave it. If you don't want it that way, you will need to go and check that setting. When transferring your character to another server, you will keep the following character name, character appearance, feats, the ones that you do not get automatically, level and attribute point information, journey steps, all equipped items, all items in the character's backpack, main inventory, and all items in the hotbar. 
And when transferring a character to another server, you will lose the following items. All buildings and placeables that belong to the character will be abandoned and decay. The association of all thralls that belong to the character. So that's why I say if you want to keep your stuff on one server and transfer to another server, you either need someone to be clan leader and hold the things on that server, or you need an alternate account to hold those things. So let's look at the actual process. It says, warning, uploading your character will delete them from this server. Buildings owned by this character will be abandoned and will decay. This process is irreversible. This character can only be transferred to unofficial servers because I'm on an unofficial server. For full details, you click the link there, and that's going to take you to the same link that I'm going to put in the description of this video. Now I'm going to show you some of the error messages that you may come across when you're doing this. You need to type a transfer in this box right here. You can do that uppercase or lowercase and then click upload character. When that happens, you are either going to get an error message or you will be deleted from that server. It says I'm still the clan leader, which means I actually need to leave my clan before I can transfer to another server. So you just go right here, you click leave. If you have other people in the clan with you, please make sure you promote them to clan leader. At least one server restart before you transfer. Again, another error here, just letting me know that I have a cooldown remaining before I can transfer to another server. Now that is 15 hours and 27 minutes. That is not 15 minutes and 27 seconds. Now let's look at an error from the other side. Currently I shouldn't have anything to import, but it does say import character. So if I click the button, it says I actually have a level 200 character. And when I import, it gives me a failure. That's what it should do because I didn't actually have a character to import. So now I'm going to go through some tips on the server transfer, your build, your setup, when you're getting ready to transfer servers, as well as what items you may want to take. Now I am currently planning to transfer from the Isle of Sipta to the Exiled Land. And there are specific items that you're going to want to take from the Exiled Lands to the Isle of Sipta. However, the first thing that I want to go over is the actual outfit and the gear that I'm wearing. This is not my original design. This actually comes from the forums, and I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video because there's some great chatter going on over there about the best build for server transfer, and I'm sure that they will come to a conclusion on what's the best. However, I do want to point out Selena one who does most of this build, and then Norell, who comes in with a clutch on some of this build as well. However, part of this build is actually DLC, so if you don't have these items, you'll need to pick other things. First of all, we have the bearer pack. Now, this bearer pack was crafted with a tier 4 thrall, so it does give me additional points in encumbrance. The innkeeper's vestment is the next thing. We also have the light gauntlets, the innkeeper's pants, and then the boots of the serpent, which are going to give you an absolute ton of encumbrance. So if we come over here to the attributes page, you can see I have my encumbrance all the way up to 50 and then an additional 23 points in encumbrance. Now the reason why I did that is because your encumbrance continues to go up when you do that. So if you look at the top of the screen right now, you can see I have 381 total weight of the 639 that I'm able to carry. And this isn't a weight thing as much as a percentage thing. If you go over that 99% and it tells you that you are over encumbered, that is the point at which it's not going to allow you to transfer servers. So you want to keep it at 99 or below. So let's talk about some of the things that I'm going to try to take with me here to the exiled lands. First of all, I have some thralls in my inventory here. I want to take those because why hunt them down on another server? I have all of these sigils in my inventory and I'll explain why I have all those sigils in my inventory a little bit later on in the video. I have Brutus in my inventory because he's not obtainable on the other map. You always want to think of what is and what is not obtainable or what's easily obtainable on one map, which is not easy to obtain on the other. I have have scraps and Eldarium. Now the scraps are going to give me more Eldarium than what I can actually carry if I was to load myself up with Eldarium. And you can see a stack of 100 Eldarium is actually a weight of 13 and these scraps, 100 of them is actually only a weight of 10. 
and the conversion weight one scrap is equal to a five Eldarium. So we're looking at 500 Eldarium with a very light weight. The other thing you might think about taking is some recipes. If you're meeting friends on another server that would enjoy these recipes, you might want to take those with you and they're very light. So it's not a big deal. You also want to think about armor that you may want to use on the other map. So like the Bracers of the Serpent, I can't get those if I go to the Exiled Lands. However, I can get those here. I can craft those here. I suppose I could craft them with the Eldarium once I get over there, but it's something to think about just taking with you should you have the inventory space. Additionally, different weapons that you either have to craft once you get over there or weapons that you definitely want to take from the Isle of Sipto or the Exiled Lands to the other map. So I have the Feroxic Daggers, I have the Daggers of the Outer Dark, I have the Heavyweight Truncheon, and the Coup de Gras. Now obviously I could make some of these on the other map if I have the Eldarium for them, but I really just want to test a lot of different things and get you guys thinking about different items that you may want to take. I have the Maelstrom Light with me, although it doesn't have a great timer anymore. I'm going to go ahead and take that with me as well. And then the last item here is the Void Forge Gladius. You can see I have a couple of things in my hotbar here. We have the Elixir of Numbing and we have the War Paint of Determination. Both of these things are going to give me additional encumbrance. And I'm going to be very interested to see whether it actually lets me teleport with these items. So I will be filling my inventory up to 99% equipping both both of these items and see if it actually allows me to transfer my character. If we bump over to the attributes without the war paint and the elixir applied, we have 50 in encumbrance and an additional 23. Over to my feeds page and I'm just going to click on the search button here and we can compare these screens once I get transferred over. The last thing that I want to show you is I do have all of the sigils loaded into this character for the transfer. I misspoke earlier, I said it was a war paint of determination, it's actually the war paint of support, that's the one that you want for encumbrance. Okay, so you can see I am currently at 99%, and if we look at my attributes, we got all the way up to 29 points in encumbrance. Going back to my inventory, something else that I want to show you is I have gone ahead and loaded these true names into my inventory. The reason why is there's been a lot of questions on the forums on whether you can actually transfer with these items or not. And the answer is right now, I don't know. We're going to try it right now and see what happens. So if we go to the menu, we hit server transfer, we're going to upload our character. We're going to type transfer in there and we're going to click upload character. Now you can see I've been disconnected from the game and I can now join another server. So let's go ahead and play online. We are going to choose a WAC Nation server in order to load into. And we have this WAC Nation unofficial Exiles land server right here. We're going to click join on that and OK and we'll import our character and see what we actually have. Here we go, we're gonna click import character. It says I'm level 60, it actually came up correctly there. It even said my name and boom, there we go. It obviously reordered my hotbar, but if we go into our inventory, you can see everything is right there in the inventory. It does say I'm 103% over encumbered. So it did take the potion and the war paint and wipe those out. But I was able to upload more than I would have been able to if I didn't use that potion and that war paint. Let's go over to the attributes, take a look at what those look like. You can see we are at 50 and plus 26. That's the way we expected to come into it minus the potion and the war paint. If we go over to our feats and we look at the search, you can see those match. And I'll go ahead and put both of those on the screen for you guys so you can see that those match up exactly. Now, here's another pro tip for you. You can see I absolutely have no sigils loaded into my character. So what that means is that it does not carry the sigils over. That's why I told you earlier, you need to carry these sigils yourself because once you get over here, all you have to do is load these sigils back into your character just like that. And what you're gonna see is that all those sigils are there. Now I do recommend stocking up on the Sigil of the Fiend because once you're over here, you can't obtain more sigils. So this one stops you from losing all the sigils. You'll just lose this one if you die. So this is the one that I recommend stocking up on and bringing multiples up. 
And just to show you that they do work in the exiled lands, I'm going to go ahead and allow this snake to do some damage to me once I ungod here. There we go. You can see the poison's on there, and it's on there for about three seconds before it is wiped out by that sigil. So these are one of the things that I think are very important when you're going to transfer out of a server where you have the sigils available. Bring these along with you to the exiled lands. It's going to give you an upper hand against everything thing in the exiled lands. And actually, that was enough to get me down to 99% right there. So that's very cool. And for those of you wondering, can you bring a god token from one server to another server? There they all are right there. Those are the ones that I transferred in with. And if I go over to the map, I actually am not displaying those tokens currently on the map. So that's something that Funcom is definitely going to have to decide how to approach and what to do with it. Now, I do hope that these tips have helped you in understanding the server transfer and help you decide whether you want to do it or not. I am thinking about giving people my opinion on the server transfer as far as whether I think it's set up in the best possible way or not. And if you want to see that video, what I'd appreciate is if you whack the like button on this video. Let's see if we can get it up to 500 likes. And I mean, we brought the tokens with us. It'd be a shame to just let them go to waste. So why don't we use at least one on this dragon? All right, here we go. We have a set and, and we got this little teeny tiny dragon and did he did he poof did he did he just disappear did he go away did he die there he is oh he's dead let's see if we can make it over here I know there's a scorpion over this direction it only takes about one to two hits with an avatar in order to kill most of everything in the game honestly I mean it doesn't even take that I could probably just walk right over the scorpion and kill him without even attacking him let's see if we could do that let's see if i can can i aim well enough here oh oh we got some hits on him we got some hits on him come on come on snake you know you want to do it oh i don't i don't think we did it i don't think we did it oh no the scorpion has evaded us let's see if i can back up just a little not enough time. One more attack. <laughs> okay, so that was fun. That was something different. Let's go ahead and look at the map just to see. You can see that I did summon a avatar there recently, so that's a thing. But I still have these multiple tokens in my inventory, and those are not showing an icon on the map currently. And I want to know what your opinion on the server transfer is in the comment section below. The whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters. Thank you very much. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not a subscriber, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video. Now, if you're not done watching, there's two videos on the screen. You could pick one of those to watch next. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace.